Making the conversion from liquid eggs to dried eggs in your formulations is another option to streamline your production and help keep a stable bowl cost. Switching from liquid eggs to dried eggs is a simple weight for weight replacement. All you need to do is add the proper amount of dry product and the proper amount of water. Of the total weight needed, one part will be dry egg and the other parts will be water. There are many benefits to using dried eggs in your bakery. They're food safe, dried eggs are pasteurized, they've got a long shelf life, about a year, they're easy to store and handle, dried eggs can be added right into dry ingredients, and the water can be integrated into wet ingredients. They give you batch-to-batch -batch consistency. They contribute to long-term end product quality. To work out the average weight, record the five weights, add them together, and then divide the sum by five. This will give you the average weight, which is now the new measure for your formula. To prepare to use dried eggs in your formulation, there are two quick calculations you need to do. The first is to figure out the weight of dried eggs you'll need, and the second is to calculate the weight of the water. For the first calculation, let's use dried whole eggs as an example. Take the weight of the liquid whole eggs in your current formula. Then divide that weight by four. This will give you the weight of the dried eggs you'll need for your formula. For example, if your liquid egg formula calls for 400 grams of whole eggs, you would divide 400 by four. This means you would need 100 grams of dried whole eggs in your formula. Now, to determine how much water you need, take the remaining 300 grams from the equation, and this gives you the weight of the water. So to recap, 400 grams of liquid whole eggs would be the equivalent of 100 grams of dried eggs plus 300 grams of water. One important thing to note is that the ratios for using dried egg yolks and whites are different than those of whole eggs. When using dried whole eggs, the ratio is one part dry to three parts water. For dried egg whites, the ratio is one part dry and seven parts water. And for the dried yolks, it's about even, one part dry to one part water. To help you determine the precise weights of dried whole eggs, whites, or yolks, and the water you'll need for your formulations, you can download worksheets at aeb.org conversion that will walk you step by step through these calculations. Once you've determined the ratio of dried egg to water that you need in your formulation, there are a couple of things to note. In most cases, dried eggs can be added right along with your other dry ingredients, and the water can be added into the wet phase. If for some reason you need to rehydrate the dry eggs separately for your formulation, then we recommend you take a small amount of the sugar from your formula and add it to the dry eggs to avoid lumping during mixing with the water. Even though dried eggs are convenient to use, there are a few things you should keep in mind about their safe handling and storage. Dried eggs need to be kept cool, below 50 degrees Fahrenheit, to maintain quality. And they should flow freely and not be clumped or hardened. When stored according to manufacturer's guidelines, dried eggs have a shelf life of about one year. Once containers of dried eggs are opened, they should be resealed tightly to prevent contamination and absorption of moisture. And remember, it's always best to use dried egg products well within their expiration dates. Whether you're baking cakes, cookies, cinnamon rolls, muffins, flan, or any product requiring eggs, using dried eggs can offer you several advantages. From ease of use and handling to added shelf life and consistent product. But most importantly, it won't hurt your bottom line. To help you get started using dried eggs in your formula, download the calculation worksheets at aeb.org conversion today.